The killer, whose name I will not use or ever say, was born in Afghan, of Afghan parents, who immigrated to the United States. His father published support for the Afghan Taliban, a regime which murders those who don't share its radical views. And they murdered plenty. The father even said he was running for president of Afghanistan. The bottom line is that the only reason the killer was in America in the first place was because we allowed his family to come here. That is a fact, and it's a fact we need to talk about. We have a dysfunctional immigration system, which does not permit us to know who we let into our country, and it does not permit us to protect our citizens properly. We have an incompetent administration, and if I'm elected president, that will not change, I will tell you, that will not change over the next four years. We have an administration that will not change. But if I get in there, it's going to change, and it's going to change quickly. We're going from totally incompetent to just the opposite, believe me. Thank you. With 50 people dead, and perhaps more, ultimately, and dozens more wounded, we cannot afford to talk around issues anymore. We have to address these issues head on. I called for a ban after San Bernardino and was met with great scorn and anger. But now, many years, and I have to say many years, but many are saying that I was right to do so, and although the pause is temporary, we must find out what is going on. We have to do it. It will be lifted, this ban, when and as a nation we're in a position to properly and perfectly screen these people coming into our country. They're pouring in, and we don't know what we're doing. The immigration laws of the United States give the President powers to suspend entry into the country of any class of persons. Now, any class it really is determined and to be determined by the President for the interests of the United States. And it's as he or she deems appropriate. Hopefully, it's he in this case.